Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. Thanks for joining me for this Project Life Process video. If you'd like to see what I'm gonna do, stick around. What's up friends? It's Jen with Chappie Plans. Thanks for joining me for this video. Happy Monday if you're watching this when it goes up. Right now I'm just showing you, I've already pre-selected the pockets um, configuration and then the cards that are gonna go in each pocket. And I have some embellishments here. All are from Studio Calico. I am basing this week off of the very bright and colorful kit from the July um, documenter kit, as well as mixing in some of my stash items that are also Studio Calico uh, chipboard pieces and stickers and things like that. I actually do end up reaching into one of my drawers that holds uh, pretty generic puffy stickers that I use as accent pieces in just about every one of my um, Project Life spreads just to add another little element um, of color and dimension because I am obsessed with stickers and embellishing, as you guys probably know. Um, also, you're going to see me reference um, right now in the beginning, and I will have it off to the side here, my Hobonichi cousin. I always like to look at the daily pages for reference and just to jog my memory as I add journaling to my photos and my pocket cards. So the first thing I'm going to work on is the title, as usual. And I'm just playing with some alphas I have. They're very, very old from Studio Calico. i um, using the reds and then this sort of blush pink. Um, that's sort of my color scheme. And you can see I tore the pocket card paper when I moved the K, so I'm going to have to cover that up. And these banner numbers, which are pretty interesting. In hindsight, I think I would have maybe trimmed them that, so that they were regular rectangles. They are... They look like anyway that they're meant to be used as sort of like a pennant. Um, there are teeny tiny little holes in the tops of the numbers. Uh, so you could like potentially not really string them together. I mean, maybe you could, but I feel like the sticker paper would rip or just draw a line to make a banner. So if somebody was graduating this year or turning a certain age, these numbers would be great as that type of embellishment. But I decided not to do anything with them, just leave them as is, because I'm actually pretty behind in my Project Life documenting. I used to be about three weeks ahead of schedule, and um, life has been lifing, and summer has been bananas, so I am quite behind. Even though this video will go up as scheduled, I just personally like to be way, way ahead. Um, so what I'm doing here is just adding some of the puffy stickers. I have the oranges and the ice cream and then I add a smiley face which is also from Studio Calico and I cut apart the label to add the weeks so it's July 15th through the 21st and then a few hearts and a little circle and then I do my classic like add a little faux stitched border around the pocket cards I feel like it kind of like cinches everything in it's almost like tying a ribbon on a present you know it just gives it that finishing look if you will and i am using my zebra sarasa in a04 i just hauled more of these from amazon um you can get them on amazon for convenience you can get them on jet pens you can get them at pretty much any specialty online stationery store but they are my favorite to uh write with both in project life and in my hobonichi and my laurel denise planners as well i just really like the um, opacity and like the dark juicy uh, color that this pen provides. So uh, once I decide on where I finally am going to be placing all these little embellishments and get that uh, date put on there, I move over to the picture that's on the left, which is kind of funny. It's a selfie I took of um, my Hobonichi and how thick she got so far. And I posted it actually in the Coffee Monsters Co. group. If you are a part of that group, then you probably saw the picture. Because um, I think I titled it like, How Thick is Too Thick? And obviously, it's a hypothetical question because there's no such thing. If you're a Hobonichi person and you love the Tomoe River paper, there's no rules for those books, right? They're just... Like Claire from online said, bound paper and you can do whatever you want in them. And so I just think it's really funny um, the look that I'm giving my Hobonichi because I just am so in love with it. I love how thick it is. I love how um, there's just so many fun memories in there and stationary and it's just been the most fun I've had in a while with planning. So I'm really excited about it and I had to include the picture. So I just embellished it with the good stuff chipboard and a smiley face and a little puffy dot sticker and a heart. And that's really it. I'm going to draw a border around this one. I think I do end up adding the heart on top just to give it a little something. 
And then the picture of Nora with the <laughs> sleeping mask over her face laying there holding an object is um, kind of funny. She was like, you know, before bed, she's not allowed to be on her iPad. Screen time is, you know, known not to be great for children right before they go to sleep and all that good stuff. And so she made up this game where like, I mean, she probably didn't make it up. She probably saw it on YouTube, let's be honest. But um, she put the mask on and she was like, give me random objects from my room and I have to guess what they are. And I was like, oh, okay. So we took turns doing that. And that was um, that was that little story I wrote out on this cut apart tag that says something I don't remember things to do. Yeah. And I cover it up because I didn't really think the sentiment f made too too much sense. So I just added a chipboard piece that says you're my favorite. I trimmed it down. I wasn't going to add um, any other embellishments that were not necessarily red, orange, or yellow, like in that color colorway, but I just, it's true. She's my favorite, and I love that sentiment for this photo. So I added it, and I also thought it kind of broke up all the pink and the red, um, so I, I don't mind it too much. In the end, I am going to go back and add the um, heart that I punched out which you won't know about until towards the end, but <laughs> just FYI, I am going to add a little bit more to the photo. On this journaling card here that's got the days of the week, I loved it because it carries in the colors that I like on the cards that have like the sun rays, if, if you will, of all the different colors in this month's kit. Um, and so I love it also because it provides a lot of space for journaling. So I just talked about some things that weren't necessarily photographed, which I like to do and tend to do each week. So I journaled about how I started Lift 4 for the third time, and I'm excited to lift again. Um, Amazon Prime Day got me, and Nora likes her sewing camp that she's attending this week. I ordered a Hobonichi Weeks. Um, Olivia and Nora had a girls' night, and my phone got fixed. I made my first Chappy Bestie charm and finished listening to Demon Copperhead. Um, there was a huge clearance um, bin at Joanne, and I scored pretty big and ran all the errands on Friday. And we had dinner at our local like food court place that we like going. And Saturday, I did a ton of yard work, honestly, to the point where I could not feel my forearms and <laughs> sticker organization in my craft room. And then Sunday, we, after church, went mini golfing, got ice cream, and had a nice family walk. So those are the things that I journaled about that I didn't necessarily take photos of, although I do have pretty much all the photos on the right side of the page are from Sunday, but we'll get to that in just a sec. I'm going to finish um, with the bottom row of photos here. So I have this super cute photo of Nora and her friend Olivia at dinner. They had We had taken the girls, um, one of her moms, Heidi, who's a friend of mine and I, we took them to get makeup and just kind of do some window shopping. They love to walk around five below, um, let them get a couple of things, and then we had dinner. And that's also the night that I got my iPhone fixed, which was awesome and super convenient. And then um, this is just a picture of Nora with her Amazon Prime find that I got her. She wanted the Touchland hand sanitizer spray. She already had a couple, but this was like a special deal and it was like a box set. So she was very excited about it. And then she also has these faux extensions on either side of her face. If you can see, they look blue, but they start out at the top as like this cotton candy pink and it's an ombre down into the that very sky blue color there. And it's so cute. And I just love this picture of her. So I wanted to include that. Um, and then just around that ampersand uh, pocket card, I added the dashboard. And that's all I'm going to do because I think it's plenty colorful. And on this picture of Nora, I took another little chipboard piece to just give it a little bit of um, context about her extensions and her hand spray. And then I added the word phrase cut apart from the cut apart page there that says this right now and added a couple of other stickers and call the left side good. So enjoy the close-ups in real time of the finished left side of this week. Okie dokie, moving on to the right side. This is a picture of Flan, obviously. Um, and I am going to give it a title that says Flan. <laughs> I just realized that I wanted to bring in these alpha stickers again. Um, I usually don't do that. Uh, well, maybe I, I think I actually did do that last week. Um, I lied. I am a liar, but I don't usually do that. So I guess maybe I'm on a kick where that's a thing for me. Um, I don't know. Back in my subconscious, my brain must have liked 
that effect. So here we go. Um, anyways, I have to alternate the colors because there's just not enough alphas on these two sticker sheets. And it's a pet peeve of mine with the Studio Calico kit. So I don't ever really order extra alphas. I just kind of try to use what I have that's come with subscriptions. And then when they're gone, they're gone. Um, anywho, I just spelled out flan and then put another little chipboard tag and wrote empanadas and flan hashtag fun Friday because we always go out to eat on Fridays and I didn't take a picture of my delicious empanadas which I wish I had done and um so that's all I got is this picture and once that one's done I'm gonna go over to uh the right side no I'm gonna actually journal on the card that says summer plans and I think this card may be from a different um documenter kit as well as the heart pattern card uh right on the bottom row Anywho, I checked exploring and staying at home underneath where it says summer plans. And then I'm journaling about how July has been the busiest month so far. And I really was not prepared either mentally or emotionally for the busyness of it. Um, and, you know, it was great for Nora to have these like half day camps. But actually, it's for me, it's more of like me being a taxi and more things on my to do list that I have to remember and cuts into sort of like not cuts into but does limit like my doctor's appointments and things that I don't normally have to worry about when Nora's in school all day. Um, it's definitely been challenging. So um, and she has been very, very sassy this month, like very sassy to the point where actually tonight we're going to have a lovely little family meeting. <laughs> to try to talk about some of these things that have been coming up for her and hopefully help her, you know, address those issues. And um, I, I suspect that some of it is hormone related, even though she is only eight. Uh, but, you know, without getting into too much detail, I think it's just challenging for parents in general, um, especially if you're someone like me who has the privilege of staying home in the quiet um, for several hours at a time uninterrupted. Like that is a huge privilege, which I realize. And so, um, I'm just keeping it real and being transparent with you guys that, you know, it has been a very challenging month, but we've also been insanely busy. And you would know that, um, if you've been watching my project life videos, uh, I do often get people in my DMs that are like, how do you breathe? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> And now it's even busier because cheer season has started and I'm helping to coach her squad again. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm journaling about. And then we did manage to squeeze in a day date because on Sunday after church, Nora had a piano lesson and she does it right at church. And there are several little restaurants right around the area where our church is situated. So we decided to pop in to this place called Smith's and it gets a rave reviews and it's a really, really quaint look like little spot. It's very cute, very like how do I describe it? It has masculine vibes. It reminds me of like step it. You step off of the street and you're like, where am I? Because when you walk in, it's like a mahogany bar and there's leather and there's like green felt and um, like antique wood. It's it's just really sophisticated, I guess is a good word for it. And I got this delicious arugula salad, but we were both underwhelmed with our meals because my salad had very little topping. Like it was supposed to have blueberries and um, goat cheese and um, croutons and pistachios. And there were like 10 blueberries, a ton of red onion, a ton of chicken, which was great, um, you know, protein, and like very little else. So I was, for the price, I think it was like $25, $30 for that salad. Uh, astronomical, as you know, most things are when you go out to eat these days. And then Matt got this huge sandwich, which had like a generous helping of lunch meat on it. But the bread was really dry, like stale dry. So that was very disappointing. Um, but we enjoyed our time together, just kid free and enjoying, you know, trying a new spot. Um, and then after that, and we picked her up from piano, we had promised her we would take her mini golfing. So we went up to one of our favorite mini golf spots and they make homemade ice cream there. So it was very hot. So after we were out in the sun all day, um, well, not all day, but for quite a bit, it felt like, because, you know, you got to it's busy. So you got to wait for the families to play through and all that. And it gets bottlenecked. So after that, we went and walked around the corner to their ice cream place and sat in the A.C., and enjoyed some homemade ice cream. So those are the pictures. There's a selfie of me with my my ice cream. And then a picture of Nora with hers. She actually got um, like more than my husband and I. <laughs> she's been eating quite a bit lately. And if she's having another growth spurt, I'm going to cry. Because she is just already so big. 
Um, I decide to decorate the card in the middle that's the hearts from a previous Studio Calico kit just really simply using the alphas again because I like to use embellishments at least three times for consistency. And I was yapping when this happened, so I don't know if you caught it, but I ended up um, embellishing the front of the sign outside the restaurant with the cut apart that said plan A and it has a cross through it and then plan B is circled because actually <laughs> this was our plan B because our the first restaurant we wanted to go to, which we've been to before, is absolutely delicious, like authentic um, Filipino food and it was closed on Sunday. So we were like, oh no. So that's why we ended up there and I just thought that was like the perfect embellishment and it made me so happy to <laughs> to have that work um with this spread and with that story and then this right now card I'm just using it as an opportunity to journal a little bit more and add a little bit more depth to um my journaling for the week so in the top um box I'm writing about how I'm really excited to be able to lift weights again and wow how my body feels very out of shape <laughs> um and my immunology appointment um, how that went, because if you've been following me, then you know I have a lot of issues with my skin and with hives and with allergic reactions. And unfortunately, the consensus is basically there's no cure and there's no preventative measures we can do. We just have to treat these situations as they come, which is very unfortunate. But um, at least I, you know, can I know there's nothing else that I can do. I've done all I can. Um, OK. And then I am journaling about how Nora's on a bottle flipping kick, and that's really funny. Um, she just basically sits and takes like a, a partially drank vitamin water bottle and flips it, or a water bottle, and flips it as many times as she can. It's She's amused for quite a while doing that, which is questionable I, at best. Um, and then I'm happy that Nora and Olivia are hanging out again because it's been just, it's been a while, like two years. We just sort of grew apart after the um, pandemic just schedule wise, not really for any reason in particular. And then how Friday was really tough because I planned to run a whole bunch of errands, but I forgot my wallet. And so I was out and running, trying to run errands with no wallet, which doesn't really work. So I ended up coming back home, giving Nora lunch, rushing her to camp, and then going back out to run all the same errands and basically drove all over the Tri-City area on Friday. Um, and then I embellished the picture of Nora with the um, golf club that with a cut apart that says every summer has a story and then the little sunshine chipboard piece, which I love. And then the sunburst, I guess I'm calling it rainbow burst card is my favorite and was the inspiration for the entire um, spread this week. And I just covered the circle with a cut apart square that says currently and embellished it with a few stickers. And again, the selfies of Nora and I getting ice cream, I kept simple the one um, of me with my ice cream, I put the summer vibes chipboard piece, a puffy ice cream cone, of course, and a smiley face. And then Nora gets a um, cut apart that says simply the best. And I wrote topic, it says topic, and I wrote homemade ice cream, and then put the stamp the date on there. Um, gave it a nine out of 10 because it has a rating section. And then I just journaled nothing better than AC and cold treats after a round of mini golf in the sun. And the uh, middle card with the hearts spells July. And then I put the chipboard piece that says the facts and then uh, a puffy heart and a red smiley. Oh, and here's the part where I end up thinking this card needs something extra. So I go to my cut aparts and I trimmed out that rainbow ray burst, whatever, and punched a heart out of it. And I tried to make it work on this card, but it, I f felt like it just looked too crazy. So I end up moving it to the picture of Nora um, on the left side of the spread where she is making me guess what's in her hand. That's what I was referencing earlier in this video. <laughs> um, so I cut some of that out just for time purposes. So this is the completed right side of week number 29 in volume two of my project life for 2024. I love all the embellishment and the color. I got a lot of journaling on there, for sure, as usual. And yeah, here is a look at the entire week all together. Thank you so much for watching this video, friends. Please make sure you leave any questions or comments below. Like the video, subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you next time. Take care, friends, and remember that you are enough. Bye-bye!